Elias Mahlibela Molise is 77 years old. On 12th June 2015, marked his return home to Lesotho from Namibia, where he had stayed for 37 years. This is the house in Hentes Bay, Namibia, where Elias lived for 30 years. In 2013, Walter Nell, chairperson of Hentes Bay's Silver Hair Committee, an organization for the elderly, discovered Elias. Yeah, when we met him in, uh, uh, it was in uh, 2013, I was teaching at uh, Kamwandi Primary School. I saw the, it was standing in the classroom and I saw the old man walking over that open field to a shop and he was walking like this 20 meters and sitting down again. Sitting like this with his kiri and then got up again and then I called my wife and told her please go come and pick up that old man and take him to where he wants to be. So that is where we met him, that was in 2013. And when I learned that there was nobody, no relative, whatever, nobody, I was thinking, who's going to look after him once? He cannot care for himself once. He reached that stage where he cannot tend for himself. And uh, that's when I thought that maybe I should do something to get him reunited with his family. The Namibia Red Cross Society says assisting people like Elias with tracing their families and loved ones remains one of their core activities. I came across the Opa Elias uh, case in the Namibian Sun newspaper in 2014 in December where there was an advert of him looking for his family and wishing to return to his homeland in Lesotho. We made further interviews again through Mr. Nell, who is always looking after Mr. Uh, Mol uh, Molise, and his relatives were found, and that's where we get to be in touch with uh, the family through the Lesotho Red Cross. On arrival in Lesotho to reunite with his family, Elias was assisted by the Lesotho Red Cross Society. The National Society had previously played the role of locating Elias' family whilst he was still in Namibia, enabling him to travel the long journey back home to a family ready and eager to welcome him back. This is actually the first person in this program who will be assisting to come back to Lesotho. So it was not really an easy task at first when we started. But with collaboration that we had with Namibia Red Cross and the International Red Cross as the movement, we were able to succeed. The ICRC carries out direct action to help people separated from their families or without news of them following conflicts, migration and other situations of violence. National Red Cross societies, however, take the lead role when it comes to assisting families separated due to natural or man-made disasters and events. This work is referred to as restoring family links across the Red Cross movement. 
Well, the ICSC was informed of this case by the Namibia Red Cross Society, who read about Opa, Elias, the, his plight uh, to look for his family. They then contacted us, the ICSC, for technical support, and we guided them to ask relevant questions that made it easier for the Lesotho Red Cross Society to find his family. We examine each case individually and make exceptions to general rules depending on particular humanitarian needs of, vulnerable, of individuals and their vulnerabilities. Opa Elias, because he was very old, alone and without any family close by, we took care of all that was needed to facilitate his return home to his family. And this was in collaboration with our ICRC office in Pretoria. There are so many families who do not know where their loved ones are. The ICSC and the National Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies are able to help through their network of offices worldwide. Ooh, yeah.